Welcome to the presentation on multiplying expressions. Let's get started. So if I were to ask you what x plus 2 times, let me use a different color, times x plus 3 equals. At first you'll be like, huh, that's a little uh, strange. But it turns out that you actually already know how to do this problem, and it's just the distributive property. Because if I just had, let me write a different problem here. If I just wrote a, and let me just make it clear this is a separate problem. If I just wrote a times x plus 3, you know that that's just a x plus, well, plus you could say a 3, or another way to say that would be 3a, right? But as you see, all we did is distribute it. We could just write a times 3. All we did is distribute the a times the x and the 3. Well, we're going to do the same thing here, but instead of a, we have x plus 2. So let's do that. So this would be, let me switch to green. You get x plus 2. I'm just, since I'm using green, I'm just going to stay with green. x plus 2. Let me switch to orange. x plus 2 times x plus x plus 2 times 3. Does that make sense? If that looks a little confusing, just pretend like that x plus 2 is the a in this example. And all we did is we distributed it across that x plus 3. And now it becomes a pretty straightforward problem. What is, we, we do distribution again with each parts of this problem. So let me stay in orange. What is x times x? Well, that's x squared. And then x times 2, well, that's 2x. So we did this left-hand side already. And now we do this right-hand side. What's 3 times x? Well, that's 3x. And what's 3 times 2? Well, that's 6. And now we're almost done. We can say, oh, well, we have a 2x here and a 3x here. We can simplify and add those together. And we know that that equals x squared. 2x plus 3x is equal to 5x. x squared plus 5x plus 6. So all we did, there's really nothing new to learn here. We just distributed the x plus 2 times each term of x plus 3, and we got the second step. And then we distributed this x times x plus 2, and this 3 times x plus 2, and simplified. Let's do a couple of problems, and, and hopefully it'll hit the point home. Let's say I had 5x plus 9 times. 4x minus 2. Well, once again, that equals 5x plus 9. I'm just distributing it. I want to stay in my color that I'm using, so that's why I'm just writing it out like this. That equals 5x plus 9 times 4x, and then plus 5x plus 9 times minus 2. Right, This minus 2 is here, and this 4x is here. And now we just multiply it out. 5x times 4x is 20x squared. Hope that makes sense to you, because let me write it down in this corner. 5x times 4x is the same thing as 5 times 4 times x times x, and that equals 20x squared. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So going back to the problem. 5x times 4x is 20x squared, plus 9 times 4x is 36x, plus minus 2 times 5x, so that's minus 10x, and then 9 times negative 2, well, that's minus 18. Well, we're almost done. So we get 20x squared, and we have 36x minus 10x, so that's plus. 26x minus 18. There, we're done. Let's do another problem. Let's do 2x plus y. Whoops, it's a parentheses. Time, I'll stay in one color now because I think you, you understand what we're doing. Times 3x. 
plus 2y. Well, once again, this is the same thing as, and we could just do it a little different way, a little different order, but we could distribute it like this. We could say this is 3x times 2x plus y plus 2y times 2x plus y. See what I did? I just switched the order this time just to mix things up. This 3x is there, and this 2y is here, and we just distributed it along 2, and, and we just, we, multi, we distributed the 2x plus y along each of these numbers. And now we just multiply it out. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times y, that's 3xy. Right? 3xy is just another way of saying 3 times x times y plus, now 2 times y times 2y times 2x, well that's 4yx, 4yx, right? 2 times 2 times y times x, plus 2y times y. Well, that's just 2y squared. Now can we simplify anything here? Think about it a little bit. Well, it turns out that xy and yx are the same thing. They're just switching the order. So you could just rewrite this as 6x squared plus 7xy plus 2y squared. And we could have just as easily have written it as 6x squared plus 7yx plus 2y squared. Hope I'm not confusing you. Let's do one more real fast. and Let's do... 2x plus 2 squared. Huh. Well, you might be tempted to just square each of these terms, but you've got to be careful because you have this x here. So it actually turns out that this is equal to 2x plus 2 times 2x plus 2, right? Any number squared is just that number times itself. So any expression, like 2x plus 2 squared, is just that expression times itself. And now we can just do it as this is the same thing as. 2x times 2x plus 2 plus 2 times 2x plus 2. You just multiply everything out. 2x times 2x, well, that's 4x squared. 2x times 2, well, that's 4x. Plus 2 times 2x, well, that's 4x again. And then 2 times 2, well, that's 4. And we're almost there. We just can add up these two terms. It's 4x squared plus 8x plus 4. And we're done. I think you're ready now to try some uh, level 1 multiplying expression problems.